and before I start today's CXBX Reloaded setup guide, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content that I release on my channel, just Jamie, almost every day. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, plus it helps out my channel out too. So we're looking at CXBX Reloaded today. So first of all, let's head over to the official website. And we're going to be using the latest version as of recording this video, which is the top one just there, released Thursday, February the 8th, 2024. If you just download that just there, I've already downloaded this and it's on my desktop waiting for us. Next thing we're going to need is a little tool and we're going to be using XDVD Mulliter. Again, link's going to be in my description. All you need to do is download this one and that's all we need for now. And of course, we do need an Xbox game. So what we're going to do first of all is actually take a look at CXBX Reloaded, which we've just downloaded. What I'm going to do is just create a new folder on my desktop. So right click on desktop, new folder, and let's just call this folder CXBX. You can call that whatever you want. I'm going to just highlight all of those contents and it strats it into that CXBX folder, just like this. And once that's been transferred over, what we're going to do is just right click on the zip folder of CXBX and just delete that one. Next thing we need is XDVD Mulliter. Now what this is going to do is convert our .iso images into a format which CSBX can read. So as we can see just here, I've got Colin McRae Rally 2004. This is an ISO file extension. Of course, CSBX won't read this file extension and that's exactly why we need XDVD Mulliter. So I'm gonna just extract the folder out of that zip folder we've downloaded and just wait for this one. Okay, once that's extracted, we're going to then right click on the XDVD monitor zip folder. We no longer need this one. So what we're going to do is first of all, before going into the emulator, let's just actually convert our game into this file extension, which CXBX supports. So we're going to just open up the XDVD monitor that we just extracted. Okay, so once we're into XDVD Mulliter, we can just admire the man here with the eyebrows and the mullet. We're gonna just go down to a strap, browse files and ISO. From here, we're gonna go to next, and we're gonna go to load ISO folder. From here, we're gonna go to browse on, select an ISO to browse, and just pick out the game that we want. So if I double left click on Colin McRae, we're then gonna go to use current folder, Colin McRae Rally 04, load it successfully. If we then go to next, we're then gonna go to extract all, and this is gonna open up browse for folder. What we can actually do is extract the game into a different folder altogether. So for example, on my desktop, I'm gonna right click, go to new folder, and just call this folder Colin McRae. And what we're gonna do is then go back to the browse folder window, desktop and point it into the direction of my column of cray folder i've just created go to ok cool we can now just cancel out of xdvd monitor and if we go into that column of cray folder we can now see the contents of it and this is what is created so obviously for cxbx we are working with xbe file so anyways what we're going to do is open up cxbx for the first time uh, we're going to open up cxbx.exe and let's just load up the game first and make sure that it's been extracted correctly. So we're going to go at the file, open XBE, and from here, it's going straight into my Colin McRae folder. And to open up the game, I'm going to select default.xbe. If I double left click, I'm going to just press yes for this. And as we can see at the bottom right hand side, we've now got the logo for my game. To actually open up the game, we're going to go to emulation and down to start. And yes. Okay, next up we need to set up a controller. So within the CXBX window, what we're gonna do is go to settings, config input. Now we can use up to four controllers for this. We're gonna go to port one and I'm gonna select MS Gamepad S. 
If I then just go over to configure, and from here I'm going to go down to buttons and then I can start configuring my Xbox controller. So I'm using a Bluetooth Xbox controller for this. And if I just left click on each one of the buttons just here, I can then map out my Xbox Series controller with this. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so once you've done that, let's just go up to profile and give this a name. So in case we lose our settings and we need to load up these mappings again, we're just going to create profile name and simply then go to save. Okay, so once we've saved this profile, what we're going to do is just close out of here and close out of input configuration. So let's now look at video settings. Again, if we go up to settings from here, we're going to go down to config video. And from display adapter, I'm just going to make sure my graphics card is selected just here, which it is by auto. And we're going to go down to display resolution. And from here, I'm going to pick the resolution which matches my laptop display. So I'm going to just use this one just here, say 920 by 1080, 32 bit. Now, under render resolution, this is where we can actually make our Xbox games look so much better. So just be careful. Uh, the further you go up with this, the more strain it's going to put on your computer. So I'm going to just go for something like three times on this just for this video. I'm also going to go to use exclusive full screen mode. So this game will then boot up into full screen mode. I'm also going to enable force V-Sync, which is going to take away screen tear. Now, if I go down to maintain the aspect ratio, by leaving this checked, it's going to give us black bars on the side. I'm going to uncheck this and go to accept. I'm then going to open up the game again. So file, open XBE and select my Colin McRae rally folder. Go to default.xbe, yes, and emulation. And that's it for today's CXBX Reloaded Setup Guide 2. So, like I say, I'll leave the links in my description for XDBD Mulliter as well as the latest release of CXBX Reloaded. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. And if you're interested in Xbox emulation, also check out my Zemu or Zemu emulator setup guide in my console emulation playlists. Anyways, follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.